Hello, good night. Hi, good evening, Gracia. How are you? Uh, so far, it's all good. What about you? I'm doing all right. It's raining. Yeah, it's, like, it's kind of raining. Yeah, but it's not pouring. It's just, it's just a shower. It's just, just a shower. Yeah, that's the word. How was your day today? Mm, tired. <laughs> Tiresome. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> Tomorrow is my day off. Yay. <laughs> but not totally because you have classes. In the I know. I know. That's, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, just from one job, I have to rest tomorrow, but not from the classes. Where is it? God, where is it? Somehow you have to open twice the platform for it to load. Hey, David, good evening. How's it going? And a little sick, but I'm here. <laughs> Man, I, I don't like the way things are going. During the last two years or three, all I hear is I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. Everybody's getting sick. Even <laughs> me, even me. I, I never, I never used to get sick this often. Now it's like the trend, you know, everybody gets sick. If you are not sick, you are not trendy. <laughs> and lately I feel nostalgic about how life used to be when I was a kid. When I was a teenager as well. But definitely, when I was a kid, I, I I now understand that it was happiness. It was full happiness. I mean, getting to. I used to study in the afternoon. Uh, during the tercer ciclo, you know, during high school. I used to study in the afternoons. So I used to wake up really late. Almost at 11 a.m. And then go to classes then come back and um, go to play basketball at the park until 9 p.m., then get home, have dinner. That was it. Nothing to worry about. I remember I used to help my mother and my grandma with, with some things, you know, like, selling tortillas and, and, and bread in the morning sometimes. But, but that was not bad. I mean, it was okay. But now, uh, man, it's all, there's always something to do and I don't like that. I mean, there's no time to rest. And even when I try to rest, I don't know you, but I, I cannot find a way to get distracted Lately, it's like, I don't want to watch social networks. Um, I don't want to read anymore. I don't know. I'm getting old, I guess. <laughs> okay. And life is getting more expensive. Things yes. are getting... Even though we are in a safe country, let's say, nowadays, there's peace, let's say. Uh, but we have to face many economical situations that we didn't used to face uh, in a daily basis before. Lemons. <laughs> Life yes. is, is, I think that's the problem, you know. Life is not giving us lemons. Life is not giving us lemons. <laughs> we can do lemonade. <laughs> we cannot make lemonade. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> We cannot make lemonade. That, that's the problem, I think. And all that I have mentioned, all this negativity, this negativity, it's called struggle. We're going to talk about the, the struggle tonight. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> the struggle is real. The struggle is real. That's a common phrase in the States. What? <laughs> this is English class. No, no French class. Okay. Enjoy your meal. If you're eating by any chance, I'm not talking about anybody in specific. I'm not going to say <laughs> names. And I call you. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah, so it's okay. Don't worry. You know what I miss? You know what I miss? I miss um driving uh, from one job to another. You're gonna call me crazy, but lately, nowadays, because of church, because of my religious beliefs, I stopped. I I reduced i'm reducing my working rhythm and because i have other chores to do at church i'm in charge of the guitar basically and and um if i'm not there there are no songs let's say the thing is that i miss driving from one university to another from one place to another and I'm saying this because I understand you. I used to eat when I had time. And the only time I had to eat was when I was driving. So it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. I loved it, you know, driving my car and, and eating a hamburger or whatever was available. Uh, sandwiches, whatever. Man, but it was amazing. It was amazing. I, I loved it. Have you had that experience of being in such a rush that you have to accommodate your meal to whatever it is? Yes, but but when you get older, <laughs> you get a little slow, slow. You need more time to eat. You can eat, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> in a rush. You cannot eat in a rush. Why? Yes, yes. Yes, because your stomach is not able to process that way. But that, when you are young, you can eat. Anything. Relax, Ana Claudia, relax, relax. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> it's going to hurt. No, because I was about to mention that, uh, yes, I, I, been in, I had that experience, but not in a car, in a bus. So sometimes I was in a hurry and commuting from San Salvador to Santa Ana earlier. So I, sometimes I, I had to to uh, have my breakfast, breakfast mm, in the bus. It, and yes, it's like, uh, it's funny. <laughs> and you are, uh, even though you had the best cup for coffee, always there are accidents, always. Mm -hmm. Especially in the buses. Yeah. Of our country. Seeking experience at some point. Uh -huh. uh, I just picture people's face seeing you eating. <laughs> really? Yeah, some yeah, of like them. That. Maybe like. Like, <laughs> like Pollo Campero, <laughs> when, when, when it starts Pollo Campero, you are eating in a table and you have a, about three, four, five people around waiting for your table. <laughs> Oh my God, it's true. Yes, it, it was so awful because there are no uh, line to wait or space for waiting. The people go into the, the, the restaurant and surround you. And you're eating. And they... You know, that that is happening all the time at night at Dennis. Uh, okay. Dennis in La Zona Rosa, it's always crowded. It's I, I've been, I I have tried to go there I have been there just once, peacefully eating. But the rest <laughs> of the times I have tried to go like four times and it's always crowded. So I end up leaving. I always end up leaving. It's too crowded. And it's not that delicious, you know? Yes, yes. I... They do have some yeah. special things. You got, we got to admit it. Uh, in the end. So nice chat uh, i remember you know what i miss about uh pollo campero their ketchup but the glass bottle the glass bottle ketchup remember 
when they used to put the glass bottle on the table for the fries. It was like their thing, you know. It was something special about that bottle. And nowadays, they just give you the little <laughs> wet, little bags. And yes. if you need more, you have to stand up or call someone. It's crazy. And pieces are smaller. Yes. Even the taste of chicken nowadays is not only about that brand, but many other brands. It's just crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been working for Wendy's a long time ago, and I still remember that I was so surprised how people can pay for just a hamburger and a fried chicken three dollars and ninety nine cents. I was ah oh, come on for me it was expensive at the time. Now I'm so surprised that you pay almost nine dollars for a combo, and I what? No, I'm still don't understand it. Even though I, I work there, but people pay for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the size of the hamburgers it changed a lot during the year. You know, and in reality, it's just uh, how it's not a change of distribution. It's just the how do you call it? The manufacturing line. I don't know how to call it that changes the flavor of things because mm -hmm. when I was when I was at La Cámara de Comercio Industrial El Salvador <laughs> with my classmates uh, every lunch because we only had classes uh, Friday and Saturday during the first year and on the second year we only had classes on Saturday so our thing our thing was we were seven and we used to feed on a Corolla on a Toyota Corolla I'm talking about 2002, 2003. So one of our friends had a car and he used to go like, hey, let's go for tortas at, here at the Triangle in, in the offices of El Seguro Social. Johnny, Johnny. It was the best tortas, you know. Their onion was orange, is orange still, but they don't taste the same. I don't know why. Sometimes I think it depends on who you're eating with. <laughs> the food tastes different. <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting to believe that. But it has changed. It has changed. I have to admit it too. Things change over time. Yeah. That's true. Anyways, why are we talking about food? <laughs> because we were having dinner. <laughs> yeah, right? Some of us. <laughs> you see, my brain follows. Next time I want to see you all reading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we can talk about books. <laughs> oh, well, we're good. Okay, guys. Let me do the attendance. It's 8.13 already. And we are night, I think. Okay. Let's see. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. ¿Qué? Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Good. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Great. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Uh, the office, I guess. Okay. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Okay. No. What? Hello, guys. Hello. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, now I can hear you. I believe that is because I am in the basement. So no, it wasn't you, it was me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my internet went down for a minute. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Juan Miguel Brown Mejia, not here with us, right? Okay. Um Luis Albert, Steve Bonilla Canales. Oh, there you are. Thank you. You're working. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte and William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. 
Okay, so what's in it for today? Um, I'd like you to start talking, you know, but yesterday we watched a video about what? Okay, what was the video about? It was about welfare, social welfare. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Gracia. Hey, did you watch the videos that I sent to the to the WhatsApp? Bruce Hornsby, um, what was it? That's just the way it is. And Tracy Chapman, uh, talking about a revolution. Which of the two songs, if you paid attention to them, which one do you think talks more about welfare? You just listened to it and you didn't pay attention to the lyrics, I guess. That was the reason why I sent it. And it's okay, don't worry. It's okay. You know, I spent many years in my childhood thinking that Tracy Chapman was a guy. And I think that's common. Many oh, people. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I swear, I swear. Many people go like, isn't that a guy? Do you know? But no, it's a woman. And, yeah. and yeah, I mean, many of her videos refer to um, or used to refer to poverty, people in poverty and all that. But Bruce Hornsby and the, I can't remember the name of the band, but they, they on that video, well, they definitely talk about the welfare, how things changed in the United States after the, that recession. Okay, how they came up with this act and they created the welfare. Something that impressed me about yesterday's video, what is it? Why is it so hard to escape poverty? Um, it's the, the beginning. And I said, I said it at the end of the class. How is it possible that you get a job, your life starts changing, but then you realize that you're spending money for transportation, for uh, babysitting your kids and medicines. I mean, uh, so many things. And you realize that you don't apply anymore for the welfare. Oh, my God. So you were better on the welfare without working. Okay. So who can tell me? Uh, their impressions. Uh, we had Gracia yesterday talking a little bit about it, right? I need someone else, two more people to tell about yesterday's video. Did you get the time to watch it completely? It's just four minutes. Yeah. Would you like to watch it again? Yes. One, two, three heads. I not haven't in. seen it. I'm sorry. You haven't seen it? Yeah, because you were eating. Okay. Someone no, else. <laughs> it's because of the storm. You, you were, remember? Oh, yeah. You were. One, you uh -huh. went to I lost to... connection. I lost everything. And it was like around uh, one minute to 10 that uh, things came back to normality. And I said, What am I going to connect? Nah. Um, better eat. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's do that then it's just four minutes uh jump skip skip the intro you know the in the end um let's watch it for a few minutes don't leave you stay here and mute yourself and we give our impressions there it is i'm gonna watch it too let's go
Let me know whenever you're ready. I'm ready, teacher. So give us your thoughts. Thoughts about the video? Yeah. Okay. Is, uh, I, I, I shared yesterday that it is the same with the money that people uh, receive from USA because uh, they the people that need harvest coffee, that need harvest uh, sugar cane, need to hire a person from Caragua, from Honduras, because Salvadorian people don't, don't want to work because they say uh, uh, the payment is uh, less or equal to the money that I receive from USA. I don't need to work. And uh, uh, in this case, it's uh, something different because it's the, the, the decision of the people not to work. But in the case of the video, the people who decide to work uh, get less than uh, we then don't work. And uh, for that reason, is a uh, they choose, or they can choose, or they could choose, not work, because I have to pay transportation, I have to pay uh, babysitting, I have to pay for cleaning the house, and uh, that uh, expenses I, I I don't have when I do I don't work, and, uh, and in that case is a. Uh, prefer to start with the work for it, not with, in, in a work. Hmm. I follow you. Do we all agree with uh, David? Mm, I think education is a key because we need to, to change. There's some mindset that society is guiding you uh, do this do that and all of us we know that uh the uh, this uh century uh, has been built with, for the basis i don't know if the word is consumism consumism okay and what happened is that we invent to eat things to wear clothes and to do things that we don't really use or we don't really need. For example, I think in my case, one of the um, uh, examples that I see nowadays is maybe for some jobs or for some uh, situations it's important, but why am I going to use a smartwatch? Why do I need to look my messages on a on a watch, the watch is just for giving you, show you the time or to make sure things or time, it's for time. And, but people, it, there is this generation, if you don't have a, a smart watch, you are nothing. You don't have the value you have as a person. It depends on what you wear, what it's you- It's measured, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's and measured what, by. It's measured by, okay, what you wear, what you eat, uh, uh, for example, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not get used to, why do I have to go to a Starbucks to drink a good cup of coffee if I can buy the coffee from the farm and I can prepare my own coffee? That is what I what I think. Because, you know, I've been in, in my life, in, I was in a hole, remember, I told you, I wasn't a, I had a lot of debt and I must, I reinvent myself. I needed to look for, for help and I need to learn. I need to study. I need to get advice for, got advice for, for people who know how to do things, also lawyers. And that is when I understood and I learned we need to reinvent ourselves and we need to educate, uh, starting from our habits, eating, eating habits. And we need to, that depends much in how you spend your money. 
And, and when you teach people, for example, what David was saying, like people, they don't want to get these jobs to work on the land, on the farm. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's because it, for me, it's the, the best job that you can learn because maybe you can learn for a period of time how to do things. You can get, you are paid for uh, realizing that job. But then after that, you can move to do another job if you don't like it, but you save money and you learn additional knowledge and you can put it in your, for example, I can uh, uh, see, or how can I say cultivar? See? Yeah. In my, in my yard or in some pots, I don't know. And I can produce in, in a lower scale, but I can produce my food, for example, the, Some the vegetables. Common thing. Yeah, vegetable, uh, coconuts, lettuce, tomatoes. You can at least just say uh, if you do this process, maybe I think you can save like around ten or fifteen dollars per month. And if you multiply that for a year, just imagine how much you save. I haven't gone to the mercadito for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, I have like two months. I, I used to like going to Sacamil mm -hmm. uh, for the vegetables, but I'm afraid. I, I don't. I don't want to go. Why? Because things are too expensive. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> Last time I went for a lot of vegetables was at El Mercadito Nocturno. Have you heard about it? Um, and yes, that, this is cheaper. It's in a cemetery that illustrates, yes. right? This is cemetery. Yes. Man, that that's better. Yes. I think I ate dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm still wondering if. But I you did. see, in order to to save money, you switch, you change, and have it. You I have it. You you usually have. Yeah. Maybe you need to look for. It, it's not that you don't go every day. So you go maybe once a week. So. Uh, once every two weeks. Yes. Every other week. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, that's the way you say it, right? How often do you take a shower? Once a week. <laughs> no, no, Is no. Every other daily. day. Every other day. Every other day, daily. Yeah. Mm. One day yes, one day no. In case you didn't know. How often do you get paid? By weekly, in my case. By weekly? How oh, else right. how else do you say that? Twice in a month. Twice a month. Twice. Every every other week. Mm. Oh, every, every other week, week is the only way to say it. No, you're lying, Ana Claudia. You get paid uh, every other Friday. Oh, yeah, every yeah. other Friday. Ah, okay. Se September's, fine. September, you love September's, I know. It depends because... I still remember. September has like... <laughs> three payments on a month. Five or... Two months in a year. June and the other, I don't know. Remember. I it think it's September. Up. I don't know why, but I have it very <laughs> present, very clear. I think I it was a September when I won two hundred dollars for Siman. Oh, but maybe selling. because of the bonus? No, selling. I was a top seller. So it was good. I was the third place actually. Selling oh. computers. I remember. <laughs> okay. Clear thoughts. I, 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 like, I, I, I think I think that I can the... say every two Friday. No, every Friday. Every, no, how do you say? Every, every two other. Friday? Every other. Ah, every other Friday. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry. I'm getting every other word you're saying. I'm really sorry. Okay. I cannot hear you well. I'm getting every other word you're saying. Ah, okay. <laughs> getting every other. Okay. I'm getting the word. It's like una palabra que dice si la entiende la otra. No, I'm sorry. You're breaking up. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. David. Most of I use I'm breaking up. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I, I realized that, but now it was... Uh... Telling about the, the money that the people uh, receive from USA, yeah, I was uh, making a bad comparison because it's not the same situation. Mm. It's not uh, uh, the situation that the, the video shows is that uh, the people uh, are not working and receive uh, welfare, mm -hmm. but uh, when they get the job, the money they receive from the job is not enough to 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 cover all of the expenses that they have, and 
the expenses increase because they need to pay transportation, they need to pay uh, babysitting, they need to pay for cleaning, they need to pay other things. And uh, uh, in that case, the people decide not, could decide not to work, live from the welfare. There is a problem, there is a problem because but I think, I think there, there's there's just another page on that story. I don't think the government only has the wealth with the welfare act. I think they also have social workers that visit the families and they try to give them a job. I, I have heard about yes, it too. Yes, it's yes, not yes. like you're gonna live your whole life, you know, under welfare. Man. Wow. Yes, that 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 is the situation and I I, I I watched a movie that that, uh, that a black man and a, a another older man in a wheelchair. That uh, the black man was uh, uh, living for welfare, and then they goes to they need five, no, not four uh, reactions for people who. Can can hire them, but they need four reaction at the month to get the work for. I am looking for the for the but I I not get one. And uh, they they go to this guy that was a millionaire, and I only need the reaction. I I don't need you. I don't need. I only want looking for reaction. And and uh, this uh, mining in wheelchair would say no. <laughs> you 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 need to go and work. It is a good movie. It's, it's about some French and an English man. I, I I don't remember. I don't remember. Is it French? Something like that. No, look for it. Look for it and let us know on the, and, on the WhatsApp. And and that, as you said that uh, uh, there are there are social workers that I you're looking at, at you for you not 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 you live all the time. That is true. Okay. So uh, before we move on, I have some slides that I would like to show you about this topic in general <clears throat> so we can continue the discussion because tonight's uh, class, it's called Main Struggles Social Entrepreneurs Face to Achieve Sustainability. By the way, this is our video conference number 11. This is our session 11. By Monday, we have the midterm review. Now Mondays are our Fridays, by the way. Yeah, so you know, so uh, part of uh, part of the uh, video vocabulary that I didn't recall, I did understand it, but I found it like not common, not common. Um, the first is circumvent. What is that? Can somebody define circumvent? I already forgot what is it. What it is? To avoid something. To avoid something. Oh yeah, yeah. To avoid avoiding is a perfect synonym of that word. Now I this called my attention. This phrase, uh, respecting people's agency and autonomy. Now, when you see the word people with the apostrophe like that. Huh. Yes, it's a possessive noun, but in if the translation of this text, you may find peoples like pueblos. Hmm. Now, this is part of the solution the video offers for fighting poverty, Liana. Uh, you, yeah, you're about to say something. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Being your boyfriend must be really difficult. <laughs> what? Because, yeah, because I I just picture it. You know, I I it's like five times in this class that I notice that you go like, and I I go like she's gonna say something. <laughs> no, no. Okay. No. Thank <laughs> you. So your boyfriend must be like, what? Maybe that's the reason why like, I don't have a boyfriend. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, I, I, I'm confused now, you know, because you're like, okay, no. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> just playing with you. Okay, I have some definitions um, about this topic. There's a very nice page that I like using. It's called Quizlet. I forget about the ads. So, what is it about? Uh, well, it's flashcards, you know, informational flashcards that you, where you can find multiple uh, concepts. What is poverty? Let's find a definition really quick. The extent an individual does without resources. Hmm. What do we get by that? The extent. What is the meaning of extent? In this context, what do you think? Everybody. Stand. Now, this is your challenge right now. Try to find the right way of the tortilla. You know, what do you get out of this sentence? Poverty is the extent an individual does without resources. Stand. It's from extension. It's from it that. sounds like extension, but no. Mm -hmm. Is a measure? A measure. No. No, it's not. Like, it's like a circumstance. No. Maybe how far an individual can yeah. go without resources? Sort of, yes. The effort that yes, an individual so does without resources. That's basically the uh, definition of poverty. Let's go to the next one. Um, so what main type of resources do those in poverty go without? What do they lack of? You know, what are they missing? What do you think? Maybe a house. A house. Or a, a place to live. A place to live. Okay. Education. I'm sorry, Lena. Education? Education mm, could be. Monthly Gracias. income. Uh, repeat, gracias. Monthly income. A monthly income. A monthly income. A fixed income. I like that. That's clearer. Yes, definitely. Somebody in poverty doesn't have a monthly income. Okay. One more. <laughs> A car, a transportation, right? Mean a transportation mean. Mm. What about a cell phone? That's <laughs> Not, yourself, but everybody has <laughs> a <laughs> even an opera. Yes. yes. In our country, everybody has a cell phone, but in theory, somebody under poverty is in lack of financial goods, emotional treatment, let's say, mental, I don't know, um, support systems. By support systems, I think they're referring to health and many other things. Spiritual, huh? Main type of resources. So these are resources, spiritual resources, hmm. physical resources, relationships, role models, knowledge of hidden rules and copying the strategies. All of this is what people in poverty are in lack of. Uh, let's continue. Given reasons of poverty, why, why is people poor? I cannot say I'm poor, but I couldn't say, why are we poor? Because we are not poor, I bet you. You, are, you have a laptop, you have a cell phone. For me, that's not poverty. Mm -hmm. What are the main causes somebody goes in poverty? The place or, or the family you were born? Oh, a generational thing. I don't know, it's heritage or what will be. It's a heritage. I like that. It's a heritage. I, it was an heritage from my mother and mm -hmm. from her mother. Mm -hmm. So it's in the family. Okay. Huh. Unemployment. Is unemployment a reason, a cause for poverty? Yeah. Yeah. For, for health. Yeah. 
this is true mm -hmm. or health if you don't have health you may not be able to work i knew a couple that they sold until the last they could if for uh, the health of the process of doctors and 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 health for for one of them unfortunately uh, she died but oh no the man yeah but the man was and it is a uh, comfortable that he did what he must it was supposed to do and, and he's happy with that but but that situation took them in a hole <laughs> to him they, uh, they sold everything they had they yeah, sold yeah. everything they, sold they had everything they had yes um uh, and um he feels he feels in peace in he peace. feels a relief because he did what he could what he, he feels could. relieved what do you think guys he feels relief gracia he feels relief because or a relief he, he, he feels relief right oh, he's okay. relief okay okay um so reasons for health emotional problems i don't know i don't know rick being poor for emotional issues hmm i don't know you're too toxic to work or maybe it has to do with like uh, mental health mm -hmm. because someone mm -hmm. in depression wouldn't be able to be successful on their work and yes. they will lose their job and so on. Totally. Uh, someone who has always been discriminated could be, I got you. Substance abuse. Somebody abusing of substance, you know, like under an addiction. That's a sickness too. Um, low education, you don't have enough education to get a job. Discrimination, that could be another reason. Mismanagement of resources. Now, this is common and is what we were talking about, right? You don't, we don't have uh, financial education, therefore, every penny we get, we spend it. We don't invest, we don't save money. That could be a reason. Underlying issues of poverty. Underlying issues of poverty. Stratification economics, which means classification of the masses of the people. Let's see. Uh, functions of poverty, unpleasant jobs. What comes out of poverty? There is no other way to eat. You gotta, we got to work. So we get whatever we can. We get unpleasant jobs. Create jobs, helping the poor. That could be. Purchase certain products, not everything that you want. Have has that? Have you been there? I am there every 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 other week. You know, when we go to the supermarket, I really want something, but I have to stop myself and say, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. That's it. Or this is less expensive. I mean, yeah. Create opportunity for charity. That's what poorness feel, um, creates. Absorbs cost of change and use them as lessons. Now, these are functions of poverty. What makes you feel, what makes you think? When you feel that you're poor, even though you're not poor, these are your reactions. You get desperate and you get unpleasant jobs. Mind this. <laughs> Mind this. If you feel poor, you will get an unpleasant job. And so on, right? These are like the effects in society, let's say. Is this true? People in poverty are more likely to experience material hardships? Can you rephrase that? Hmm. Material hardships is like lack of material things, you know. You don't have something. That they in your think life. they need it. They think they need then it. Then they think they need it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, well, when I was a kid, we needed a TV. <laughs> And we didn't have it. When we got it, my mother sent a Zenith. Many of you don't know that brand, but she sent a Zenith TV. It was 21 inches. We were like, oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They may experience not, not having enough food. Okay. They experience not having enough food. They can't pay bills. Now, this is more of an educational problem, I think. When you cannot pay the bills, oh, come on. 
at least in our country, if you're poor, your electricity bill is like five dollars. No, no, wait, twenty dollars electricity, mm -hmm. but water is like one dollar or two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Seen as not serving leisure items, when you're poor, you go like, uh, I don't need a car. I don't need a bicycle. I don't need a Nintendo. I don't need it. I'm okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is poverty concentrated in certain areas? Why is it concentrated in certain areas? Economic reorganization, residential segregation. Now, in our country, this is not true. Is it? Is poverty very clearly defined among El Salvador? I mean, you're driving on the road and you you can tell which residence is poor and which one is not. I'm playing with you, huh? Maybe, maybe. So, so there are some. Maybe we can say that some part is poor, but. Uh, Definitely, you know what para are not poor. <laughs> mm. But if you go to Les Calon, uh, yeah, they... there are some, some marginal, uh, but uh, uh, there are other parts that, uh, that don't have uh, that. Uh, yeah, situation. most part of Les Calon is rich people, but there are some areas, some paths, I think you said, um, that are people under very low income, you know, and I'm still wondering how they got there. And I guess they were there already. They just never left, right? Something that, I, that calls my attention regarding this specific topic is that we no longer have Casas de Cartón, I think. Do we? Yes. yes we still? Are. Yes. Um, in the same place in near to Molsa? Ah, no, no, no. In that part, uh, the government uh, do something, but uh, there are another place in, in, but in are, that part, no. There are other places. There are other places, yeah, where you can find Casas de Carton, right? Yes. Okay, I'm just wondering, make you think. Absolute poverty. Let's see. So being poor is doing what you can to survive. What is absolute poverty? Minimal requirements to afford necessities. So on the other hand, you're doing what you can. You may still have a job. You can eat every day, you know, but here is minimal other requirements day. <laughs> for necessities. You eat every other day. <laughs> yes. You do every other meal yes sometimes you even shower every other day because there's no water hmm. interesting minimal requirements to afford necessities oh god it's difficult and i remember when i was there uh, my grandma used to, to give uh the ds mode you know like whatever she yes. had she used to give that money and i was like you have nothing i mean and you're given that coin she was like yeah you have to give what you have that's that's the way it is and i'm like wow i still remember that like wow she was she was strong so yeah even poor people does that okay relative poverty hmm. stage of poverty looking at income compared to social order now would you call this the medium class here in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Just waiting for an answer. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, relative poorly, poverty, I'm sorry, refers to us people in the middle, the ones sustaining the, the country, in our case, uh, from many 
economists point of view, we are the ones in charge of sustaining the economy of the country. Um, now, what elements of culture uh, affect poverty? Uh, time horizon, hmm. investment strategy, family unit, orientation to work, view of pleasure, how you perceive pleasure uh, when you're poor. Let's read again, elements of culture of poverty. So among your family, when you're poor, when you're poor, there is a lot of time, there's plenty of time, there's nothing else to do, we're poor. There's no investment strategy because we have no money, so what are we going to invest, you know? Now, something for sure is the poorer you are, the more united your family is. That's what I experienced, I don't know. When you're poor, your family becomes one, and it's really strong. Mandarins are really strong. Um, orientation to work, everybody must contribute doing something. And I miss that because uh, my kids have everything. I, I mean, my kids cannot complain. Uh, they have a Nintendo, they have TVs, they have laptops, they have cell phones. They have a good educational system, let's say. They food have nothing. The what? They also have food. They have food the when they want and mm -hmm. sometimes what they want. Mm -hmm. So I don't like that. <laughs> we don't like that. We don't like that. <laughs> but I don't know. It's so difficult, you know, to say no. Yes. 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 At this point, because you are where you want it to be as a kid. You didn't, I mean, nobody likes poverty. Let's be honest. You don't like it. You didn't like it. Okay. So you, you were willing to work and come out of poverty. I don't know. That's the way I was when I was a kid. That's why I learned English. So I was like, I'm not going to be poor in my life. So I learned by myself. Okay. View of pleasure. Mm. Yeah. There's no time for playing, for joking around. You know, you have to work. You have to come out of poverty. And that, that was like a mission. That's very important. And there's a cycle for poverty, believe it or not. Can somebody help me here? Okay, Lena. Okay, poor family raises children in substandard living conditions. This interest in school leads to either single parenthood or dropping out of school. Locked into poverty with low paying jobs, while marriage and children only increase expenses and responsibility. Cycle is passed on to next generation. Which is what Anna Claudia was saying, right? It comes from the family, you know. Poverty is, has always been part of us and there's not much we can do. So, what's the struggle? Um, I want to continue with this. What's a struggle? What do you understand by struggling? Because there's no specific definition in the Spanish or translation for the word struggle. Something that uh, we are dealing to. You're dealing with. You are dealing with, uh, yes. So I'm struggling with you. <laughs> 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 yes, I in see. some way, uh, in some way. So, but deeper. Something Look that made you stuck? Makes you to stuck in some point? Gets you, you were... stuck. Something that stuck. gets you stuck. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe something that you're dealing with that maybe you do not have the enough abilities or the tools to overcome that's another context, another point of view when you're having issues working with computers, for example. So many, oh my God, so many teachers from the universities, professors, when they were told during the pandemic, hey, you're going to teach online. I have never touched a computer in my whole life. Wow, that's sad. That was really sad. And, okay, so how do you overcome struggles? 
how do you overcome struggles? <laughs> if struggles are things that you're dealing with, um, let's mention them. What kind of struggles do you have in your life? We have talked about poverty, so money, right? What else do you struggle with? Maybe it depends on uh, what age you are, because if you are older, maybe you struggle with the sickness. sickness. With your sicknesses, with your health. With health, yes. You struggle with your knees, you struggle with your back. Oh my God. Yes, yes. You struggle with the pills. Oh my God. <laughs> It's 2 p.m. and at 1 p.m. I had to take this pill. I forgot. <laughs> That's a struggle. What else? What else are you struggling with? Oh, I see the movie you, you said, David. Friends. Yes, that, that one. Yes. I, I always say I'm going to watch that movie, but I, I don't know. It's going to make me cry. I think it's too emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll watch it. You're convincing me. Okay. So, what else do you struggle with? Mm -hmm. I struggle every day with traffic. <laughs> you struggle with the traffic in a daily basis. Struggle with the traffic, with your health, with the economy. It's not easy. It's not easy. But there's one thing, which is your main struggle, and you're gonna you're gonna give me the reason on this one, okay? I bet you. There's one thing that you that keep you struggling, 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 and it's always with you. Wherever you go, no matter if you're sleeping, it's still there. Your subconsciousness. Your subconsciousness, la loca de la casa, we call it at church. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot make it quiet. If I ask you to close your eyes and be quiet for a minute, you're thinking. La loca de la casa is talking and talking and talking and talking. It's so annoying. So try it. Okay, follow my advice. Try to tell her, be quiet. Okay, be quiet and because it's important for your own health to stop thinking about the struggle before the struggle occurs. And that's called the law of attraction. That's very interesting as well. So you struggle with so many things in a daily basis and we don't realize, right? But how do you overcome struggles? I just gave you the whole clue. Okay. Don't think about it. That's that's my only advice. But how do you overcome struggles? So let's practice something. And we are four because I only have Eliana, Ana Claudia, Gracia, and David practicing right now. Um, everybody else, please turn on your cameras. Participate in the class. That's what we are here for. Okay, let me do something. When I do this, I remember Messenger. Remember, David? Hotmail <laughs> Messenger. <laughs> there was a button. There was a button when somebody was away. Uh, you could make the other people scream, vibrate or something, shake. I don't remember how was it called. I'm asking everybody to turn on their camera or participate, you know, through a bottom here and so okay um so we're supposed to discuss this how do you overcome struggle overcome i think we should come okay what kind of struggle what is overcome what is overcome to yes to go over to go over something mm. Surpass? Can we use surpass? What's to surpass, to resolve? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, let, let, uh, let me mention some struggles, okay? Um, let's start from the easy ones. My back hurts. Ask for help. Ask if for back, help? Yeah, if your back hurts, maybe you need to visit a doctor. Okay. A chiropractor. Get information for maybe some exercises or change posture at work, something like that. Yeah. Sit up straight, right? Yeah. I got and, you. And 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 uh, you need to to be careful when I when you charge something because you have uh, some mm -hmm. uh, heavy is uh, if you lift probably... heavy weights. Yes. Yes, that's so true. Well, the, the proper the uh -huh. proper way to to lift it. the right posture to lift something right heavy. Yes, that, yes, that's very important. Okay. Hey, you know, I'm struggling with my wife. <laughs> this <Thank is> you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, let's remember <laughs> let's remember <laughs> something. You should remember. You should, you should, you, you should. should look for a... you change your life. I nice. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you should look for um how can psychologists? For psychologists, because or therapist, a therapist. Therapist. Okay. Therapy, couple, couple therapists. Couple therapists. That's right. Uh, therapists. I, I, I am a, a counselor for, for, for a, a couples that are there, uh, wanting to get married. Oh, oh the what? pre, the pre, uh, yeah, the, yes. the thing, you know, the pre-speech. I, 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 I ask them for uh, three things. Uh, the first one is you need a, a, a code communication because the words are not the same for man and for woman. The man have a two, two chairs and it's okay. Mm -hmm. And the woman open her dresser and I don't have nothing to wear. I have nothing to wear. Okay, it, it, that's it, one thing. It's full of. Uh -huh. And, and uh, what, what, one thing is they need a, a common code of a communication. A what? A code of one. Common, okay. common code of communication. The second one is uh, a way to solve problems. They they need a, a procedure like a couple to solve problems because when they are getting married, they think we don't we 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 don't have problems. Mm. You need, you need uh, to establish a, a, a way to deal with problems mm -hmm. because there will be. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the third situation is they need a constant, constant communication, constant, all the time, all mm -hmm. the time. They need communication because... Uh, uh, I think mostly the 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 man or the the we men uh, yes we men uh, we said something in general, but uh, we men need this in in detail, all in detail. And I I say, for example, to my wife, I I, I stand me for something. <laughs> and uh, uh, that is, and I, 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 I come home late and what happened? <laughs> I told you. So good you communication, told... good communication. Yes, good communication. That, uh, that's, yes. that's the one that I remember the most from my, my pre-marriage uh, speeches at church. Uh, they said good communication. Uh, but good communication is not asking, how are we doing? Oh, you mean the kids? You mean their school? You mean the house or work? No, 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 no. How are we doing? Do we still love each other? How do you feel with me? Do you think that I love you? Do you feel loved? Do I feel, do you feel loved? And that's very important. At least once a week, once a week, make the question. That, I got you. I totally agree with you. So that's the way you struggle with marriage. That's a daily yes, I have for. 43 years married. 14 years. No, 43. 43, holy mother 43. of God. 43. <laughs> How yes. old were you when you got married? 
Uh, it was so young. You were young. I was 28. We we are about to, well, this is our 15th, our 15th year married. And we have 20 years together. Three kids. I mean, a lot of deaths and a lot of uh, struggles. Okay, next. Um, I have to struggle with uh, my boss. How do you struggle with? How do you overcome the struggle of your boss? I spare with it. What? I quit. Just bear with it. Just bear with it. Quit. You should quit. <laughs> they say that if you don't like your job, that's stopping you from becoming what you really want. What do you think? If I struggle with my boss, maybe first of all, ask him what happened. What, why do you have hey, what's up? Attitude. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's the <your> matter? <laughs> oh my god! With, with the carros, what's up, Doc? <laughs> no, but maybe first of all, ask ask him. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, why 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 you have this attitude with me? What's the matter? Uh, maybe um, you think that I have to 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 be better or I don't know maybe first of all ask him what's the problem but in a way that that yeah yeah have it like a nice conversation okay well I love advanced classes because I can get to talk about some things that are related to the topics on advanced classes if so far you haven't been told this, this is going to give you, I'm going to try to remember this. I was in charge of 35 people at an academy. And I read a book that taught me how to manage them. But I didn't know what to do first. And then I understood that there is an order. There is an order that you need to follow when you're trying to resolve a problem. And it's called the solving problem technique. Okay, does this ring any bell? Yeah, <laughs> gracias. Okay, if I make any mistake, correct me please, or help me. Do you know what is the first step on the problem solving technique? Identify the problem. Identify the problem. What is there to say about identifying a problem? What is so what is the complicated part of identifying a problem? First off, recognize that we have a problem. Uh, come again. First off, recognize that there is a problem. Recognize that there's a problem. Okay. Ah, problem. Okay. There is a problem. Now, this is very important. There is a problem because there's only one, right? Yes. Okay, good. There's just one problem. What is the second stage? It's four stages, if I remember correctly. I, I know the, the math uh, algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's some similar. It might be. But who remembers what comes after you identify a problem? Google says that generate potential uh, response. Potential Sorry? solutions? Yes. Define potential solutions. Don't you need to know what caused the problem? Yes, you need to identify the root cause of the problems. Why are you in this problem? Okay. Um, let's let's call them. Identify the root causes. Now there are many causes, many things, many situations that cause this problem. 
and you have to identify them. Now, what is so complicated about identifying the root causes? Excuses. Excuses. Um, I'm going to say it in this way. I don't have a way to say it. In other words, lame uh, self steam. Or, or no, 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 no. I'm going to call it low. Low self steam. Now, steam. Uh, is that the right way? Low self steam. Yes? Huh. I always hesitate with this word. I wonder if it is hyphenated. It has an E before. I think. Hold on. Uh, come again. Gracia? I think it has an E at the beginning. Self steam. Self dash steam, I found. E S T E E M. Yeah, I got it right. I got it right. Oh, okay. It's just two words, yes. Low self steam. That, with that's the dash the in the middle? With the dash, you can add the dash as well. It, it could be hyphenated or not. Okay. But so. Steam has an E. An E at the beginning of a steam. steam. Yes. That's what you were saying. Yes, exactly. Okay. So low self steam. Why is this a problem when you identify root causes of the problem? Because you start, no. No, that's not probably the cause of my problem. It was somebody else's fault. And then there is a result of low self-esteem. Watch Rocky six and the speech to his son. Stop blaming others, okay? Picture yourself. Uh, blaming others is like the result of having a low self-esteem. That's very important. Okay. Um, hmm, let's move on. What will be number three? Can somebody help me? Just said it. Build up an action plan. Action plan. Start with the action plan. Okay. So as Gracia said, possible okay. solutions. Possible solutions, yes. Solutions. I'm thinking in Spanish. Possible solutions. Identify possible solutions. Now, what is the problem with possible solutions? I'm just going to say lazy or laziness. Okay. You're so lazy, you don't want to do nothing. So you will think only about the easiest way out. You know, the easy way out. What's the easy way out? Possible solutions. Okay. There has to be at least three at least three possible solutions, okay? And lastly, the most difficult step of this problem solving technique is? Put in action. To do, to implement, I guess. Mm. Decision taken. A decision taken. I mean, there's just one solution. There is just one solution. And again, I make a mistake with this word, guys. Sorry. Decision. <laughs> yeah. Decision. <laughs> okay. Me and Nezis. Okay. Decision taken. Why is it so difficult to take a decision? Again, the same thing. Oh, poor little thing. You're, this is too difficult. I cannot do that. Okay. Decision taken, but keep in mind there, and I'm going to bold it, there is just one solution. You cannot take more than one path. Once you decide upon your decision, the most important part of the problem solving technique, as you said before, is take massive decision. Is your decision is not decision first with C and after. Oh my God. Excuse my dys dyslexia. Yeah. Let me correct that like this because, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there to remember myself. Decision. 
Now, at this point, I make a lot of mistakes with words that are very similar to Spanish. And that's going to happen to you. Don't worry. So <laughs> take massive action. So you already make up your mind. You already know what you're going to do. Now do it. Do it. When are you studying this? Now, after this, you may want to study the uh, SMART goals. I guess you are aware of SMART goals at this point, right? Yes. SMART? SMART. SMART. Uh, S-M-A-R-T, SMART goals. Uh, smart. What is it? What is it, David? Specific, measurable, attainable, uh, realistic, and uh, uh, with time. Time bound. Uh, Yes. Time bound. If you want to get that again, watch the video. <laughs> yeah. So smart goals is the last thing. Uh, the, the point number, bullet point number four, uh, decision taking. What are you going to do? And then you start the planning a smart goal and take massive action. So it's really quick. Give me just a second. My 11 year old is just like me. Sorry, I just got emotional because he's always doing this like three days in a row. He keeps bringing me water in the middle of the class. If you haven't noticed, he's always like, Dad, drink some water. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why, but he's like caring, you know. Okay, so I was saying problem solving. I feel bad. My health is really bad. I'm struggling with my health. I'm struggling with um, my overweight. Um, every time I eat, it feels really terrible. My stomach, I get this weird feeling. I cannot even sleep if I eat at night. Sometimes I can barely breathe. What is my problem? Let's identify the problem. Obesity. <laughs> it's obesity. You're fat. <laughs> you got it. That's the problem. Oh, you're, you're a fatty boy. <laughs> uh, you're a fatty boy. Yeah. You know, like, like, can you picture that? Your teacher? Okay, guys. Your problem is that you eat too much pupusas, maybe. Let's go in teams, okay? Now, hold on. <laughs> okay, let's work on this. Oh, my God. Me, extremely fat. I'm fat right now. And anyways, so the main problem, I'm fat. Root causes? <laughs> Remember, this is where you you have to show that, that you, you don't have low self-esteem. You know, like think clearly out of the box. What caused this problem? Why am I so fat? Eating disorders. Eating disorder. There are a lot of things involved here. A lot of things. So eating disorder is like the main one. What else? If you have bad habits when you eat. You smoke, you drink alcohol. When you eat, you drink uh, sugary beverages, like very sweet beverages and cold beverage. Okay. Maybe the, maybe the way you deal with the stress. You got it. Stress. What causes the stress? Your job. Yes. You're sitting all day. So far, we have like five reasons. Okay. Hmm. What is the root cause? I mean, what 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 is the like the the main thing that is affecting your habits? You know, I remember I, I wasn't this fat before. But since I'm working from home, I'm spending like eight hours sitting. Sedentarism. Sedentarism. So this job is killing me. Hmm. Shall I look for another job? Well, I don't know. But it's not somebody else's problem. It's my problem. Remember that. Don't blame others. Possible solutions. Get another job. Start uh, like a healthy life. Okay. Try to eat better. Try to eat better. Precise. Change habits. 
better have it? Yes, yes, because uh, you need to eat at the specific hours. Yeah, okay, organize, organize your meal organize, times, yes. your meal times, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Exercise. Yes, exercise. Oh. But I couldn't do exercise right now, my knees. My knees won't take it. So yeah, get on their weight a little bit and then exercise will be an option. So these are the possible solutions. Now let's make a decision. To make a decision, you have to be realistic. I forgot to type it there. There's just one solution. So let's be realistic. I cannot quit my job. I need to feed my family. Okay. Hmm. Can I lose the chair, you know, maybe raise the desk a little bit that involves money okay no hmm should i go on a diet that could be the best solution because i cannot lift weights right now my knees won't take it hmm okay i'm gonna do two things and two things only eat healthier and do whatever i can here at home do the home chores and the only goal every day is to sweat, okay? Get wet doing things at home and eat healthy. That's all. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm realistic. I don't have the money to pay the gym. I don't have the money to go under a very strict uh, diet or hire a coach to be yelling at me <laughs> every time. I don't have the money, so I'll be realistic. Just go on a simple diet and do whatever I can. Now, that's, let's take massive action. Then you clean your desk out of all the, <laughs> all the churritos, right? Somebody was eating right now, chips, no more Coca. <laughs> <laughs> Get divorced of the Coca-Cola, please. Okay. And di divorce bread and coffee. Only coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, no sugar. No sugar in the coffee, yes. And so... Sugar this this was my very own example of how to struggle with things which is your topic tonight how do you struggle with uh, situations down from the perspective of a social entrepreneur as we have seen before they support communities you already created a program so there are some terms that you need to research in terms of entrepreneurs social entrepreneurs how they face uh, these struggles. And these are, thank you, gracia. Okay, these are the topics. Lack of funding support, ability to scale up, duality of mission, hmm. and lack of proper business strategy. The last one is like affecting uh, many governmental institutions, I'm going to say. Sometimes you can copy models from other countries, you know, even as an entrepreneur, you can find ways to do things where other people has been successful, but it's not easy. It's not easy. The, the easier it looks, the more difficult it may be. It is because you don't have the whole, the whole panorama. You don't have the whole picture. So find these four concepts bring them to the class. We will discuss them just for a few minutes. This is the last part of the class. Please uh, try to do your best. It's not easy topics. I'm going to split you just for a few minutes and I can believe we are 11 students. Questions? Okay. Good. Um, hmm. Just a minute. Oh, David, you're in just one device tonight. Yes. Only one, cool, yes. cool. Okay, so we have four per team. Please accept the invitation. Nobody stays here. Don't leave your classmates alone. Let's go. Teacher, each group and uh, needs to to look for the or the whole for the yeah. four definitions. Oh, okay.
Wendy, Fernando, and Josemín, please accept your invitations. Lack of funds means an appointing maturity as a, as a deficiency of funding. Mm -hmm. the lack of funds means an appointing maturity has a cool and appointing deficiency of funding to maintain. And if you look for ability to scale up, and I'm going ability to, to scale uh -huh, up. I'm going to look for the next one. Duality of mission. Did you find the other ones? Yes. The one you can copy them in the chat. But there are a lot of, and the definition is uh, sure, but there are. Uh, Which one, the ability? A lot of words. This is. Why? You are not alone. God is here with you. Juan Miguel is coming. He's taking his time. Yeah, Jose Wilfredo just stood out there and Wendy too, but Juan Miguel just joined and I sent him the invitation. So he will be soon here, okay? Okay, teacher. The instructions are on the WhatsApp if you want to read them. Okay, thank you. Then I don't know if you have found another definition. Um, in this definition is in your own words. No, it's is... something that I found on on Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but I think my definition will come along the lines, the same lines, like lack of funding is not having enough uh, financial support for the future of the business. Okay. This is the, the in your own world. <laughs> yeah, that's in my own world. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you have found another definition. For me, it's, it's good. I agree with you. Okay. <laughs> what about you, William? Yes, I'm okay. Would you like to add? Okay. So the next one is ability to scale up. I don't know, scale up. I believe to a scale up. Yeah, like come from the small thing, like a small problem to solve like a bigger problem or to divide it. Like when you talk about KPIs, key performance indicators, you talk about big monthly information, like the monthly 
st status. And then if you talk about uh, um, in process indicators, this is like daily or uh, something that you are checking up every now and then along the 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 month. So the ability to scale up is like how this uh, small amount of merma of how do you say merma 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 mm. <laughs> like, that's not that in it, that's not in my Spanish dictionary. If, if we are losing a, a small amount of say uh, decrease material, I'm decrease sorry? a decrease a decrease okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you if you're if you're losing a, a small amount of raw material, then at the at the end of the month you are going to have uh, a lot of decrease in your revenue. So the ability to scale up, I will think that has to do with how these small things is, are going to. I think the, the the most appropriate word for what you just said is shrinkage. It's not an easy word, but that's the most. Shrinkage. Okay. Appropriate shrinkage, shrinkage, shrinkage. That is a word. Shrinkage, shrinkage. That's like okay. shrimps. Okay. <laughs> like shrinking. This is a, a very technical word. <laughs> Let's say you're a content. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't know if uh, anybody would like to give it a go to like make up a definition. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is difficult, difficult mm -hmm. to accumulate enough funds at the beginning. Over time, so very should flourish, but the I past. We can leave just the first part because we understand what it means. I don't know if you copied the other, the remaining. Yes, uh, this, I would need to scale up. Uh -huh. This is the, the definition I, I, I put in the chat. Uh -huh. The social inequality of the market, social inequality of the market for your organization is general enough to meet the needs. It's, uh, the lacks the ability to scale The up. lack of support. Mm -hmm. Is what is affected. But it was what uh, we are talking about the social inequality mm -hmm. in the market. Is... Yes, because we're talking about social entrepreneurship, right? Yes, and duality. Mm -hmm. This is what what, what I understood from that, or from what I found is that you have your mission with your social entrepreneurship but as your support your your funds come from another uh, company or entrepreneurship or ong always they would like that you do something belonging to their belief the or their or vision. vision that's right yes so yes. there is a duality of mission because you need to let's say accommodate <laughs> your mission with their mission because they are the bosses they are paying your project right es el que paga la música, dice que mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> that is what i understood from this duality of mission yes uh, uh, which was the uh, i'm sorry which is the other one it says like of uh, business strategy uh, there is when it says that most of the social entrepreneurship, they don't have like a background, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they are absorbed like for the commercial entrepreneurship. I guess that is what I read. I understand the concept, so I think we can. Yeah, for me, it's, in case we need to explain, I guess just you and me will explain it because yes, 
half and half. Yeah, because the rest of the team is not here. Okay. Wait, so you mean you're ready? I think. Yeah, we're ready, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Good. That means just check on the other two groups because they were like preparing okay. a lot. Hey, um... One thing is the money. I, I have found, found uh, this. Funding is the money which a government or organization provides for a particular purpose. Okay. And lack um, is not enough of maybe something or it doesn't exist at all. So for me, lack of funding support, it's related with um, the, the money that you don't have or the money that uh, mm, yeah, the money that, that you don't have to complete a mission, a project, or something like this, yeah. Remember that uh, social entrepreneurships are based on contributions or um, charity. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they get the they get the money out of charity. Let's well, say, yeah, so it's, it's okay. not easy to get money out of uh -huh. charity uh -huh. or somebody who, from good heart who's going to help you and so on, right? I that's what he's referring to. Yeah. So for me, if we uh, match this, these two words or these three words, uh, we could talk about that. Uh, okay, you have a social project, yeah? But uh, in some point or in some time, you cannot uh, man maintain this program because uh, you're Principle, your main contributors are done supporting you anymore. Yeah. They don't want to support you anymore. That's right. But why? Mm -hmm. It's because Maybe. your return yeah. of investment is too slow or mm -hmm. null or null sometimes. Uh -huh. or, or null. Yeah. I. I won't be wasting my money in something that doesn't return any um, any kind of uh, yeah, all their money profit. To me. Uh -huh. Yeah, profit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got the idea. Very good, guys. Uh, we're taking too long, and it's nine forty-five already. But I don't know. Let me just give you two more minutes, okay? I'll be right back with you. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the definition for ability to scale up, uh, as I mentioned before, the capacity to replicate a successful business or the ability to predict the impact of small actions in large conditions and how it will affect in the general business. But I didn't quite get uh, the definition that you were mentioning, uh, Jose Enrique. Do you mind if you can repeat it, please? Uh, yes. I was checking, so... Some of them. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I just found the structure it's ability to meet talent needs and also to increase the size or numbers of something. Let me copy oh. that, that part. Okay, so it has to 
do with the definition that Francisco said, right? The ability to mm -hmm. replicate a successful business. Uh, say again, what, what you just read, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Do, do you mind reading again what, what you just read? What does this mean? I'm sorry. Me? Kind of, yes, please. So the ones that I just told you? Yeah, yeah, the last one. Hello? Hello? Yeah, the last one, please. Do you do you remember what he, he read? No. Okay. I think Jose Osmin lost his yeah, his connection. Uh maybe when he comes back we can continue on that one. But duality of mission. I found something regarding like a general objective of a business. I will think that they, it has to do not having a unique general objective objective for a mission. Have you found anything? Uh, when you don't have a, a objective uh, clearly, right? Hmm. I'm back, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I have an internet connection. Okay. So, so you, you just, actually, I'm not quite sure, so if I got it correctly, you said that, so if I can write down the information that I just No, saw. just read again the last piece of information that you read before. Uh, read yes. it out, out loud, please. Sure, it says like, it's a company, no, it's like a company, right, that has achieved a, a, a lot, had some impressive success, and is ready to take into the next level. Oh, okay. It's like getting a, a, a good position, right? So like, but but so implementing some like I don't know some strategies, uh, okay. mm -hmm, as you said. Thank you. So I just uh changed the definition that we made up. It says mm -hmm. the capacity to replicate a successful business and taking it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Is that okay with you? Oh yeah, that's that's totally cool. Okay. Okay, so I have a definition for duality of mission and uh, not having a clear or unique general objective for a business. I don't know, Willem, if you have found anything else regarding duality of mission. No, no, yet. Okay. I'm just waiting for you. Well, <laughs> present. <laughs> just remember that this was just a simple conversation for you to find the definitions and then just bring your thoughts to the class, right? How how this impacts social entrepreneurs, basically. It was very key. So let's go back times times against us. Sorry. Okay.
Okay, so, man, I, I'm so, you make me nervous, you know, guys, because you're you're very smart. I mean, this whole group, this whole group is amazing because you put so much, so much passion on little things or even greater things when it comes to work together. And I like that. Great, great job. So really quick, who can give me the definition and... Just as we said on the chat, uh, on the WhatsApp so WhatsApp chat, I was giving you some instructions on what we were doing. So find and discuss the definitions, put in your own words, in your own words, that's all, and explain to the class, why are these challenges or struggles uh, social entrepreneurs face? Why are these uh, struggles that social entrepreneurs face? Based on your expositions, remember the projects you made. And I want you to focus on that. Every time we make an example, just remember your project, okay? Why will this be um, struggles that you may face? The first one, lack of funding support. Uh, one of the problems that we found is that the, the social enterprise uh, don't uh, prepare for or don't, don't secure the startup capital and uh, with the pass of the time they uh, face that problem the lack of funding support and uh, uh, there are uh, this this uh, guy says that there are a bank but uh, this bank is, is it, there is a problem because the social enterprise needs to work with the uh, support to do of the labor that they to, they need to do, and uh, if don't if they don't do the things in the right way at the beginning, in sometimes in some point they will be with this situation, this problem, lack of uh, funding support. They, Wait, they are, don't you, have are a... you referring to the copyrights of the name, the branding? No, 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 no. The, or... Uh, uh, when you start a project, uh, you need to to have uh, the money for mm. six months, for one year. And if you don't have that money, because you think that you are doing a, a great uh, uh, a great product or a, or attending a great need, mm -hmm. and uh, that is enough, the, the, it's not enough. You need to secure of the capital you need for a, a, a specific period of time mm -hmm. to to survive. Because if not, in some point of your project, in some point of your life, like an enterprise, you will face this problem, lack of funding support, and, and you will be in problems because mm -hmm. you need to solve that or you need to take a decision and this author says that the many, many companies are uh, uh, go out of the market because of that. They run out of business. They run out of run business out because of business. Yes. They, they're in lack of support, funding support. Now, in terms of uh, social entrepreneurs, I was reading that it's just uh, there's no return of investment. There's no secure return of investment. So when you invest on a social entrepreneurship, you're taking your chances of losing money because 
sometimes there's no profit, which is expected. I mean, you're just investing to help others. So I don't know, Rick. There's no investment. There's there's just donations. Um, so that that's different, right? Let's go with the second one. We're running out of time. I'm sorry. Ability to scale up. We will speak again with Francisco Jose Lima and William that uh, we could define it as the capacity to replicate a successful business and taking it to the next level, like taking it to another location and replicate it. And also the capacity to predict the impact of small actions or conditions and how it will affect in the general business. Yeah, simple, that's it the ability to make the business grow. Um, you were mentioning that on your group, Gracia, it's true. The ability that someone has or a business has to, to grow really fast. Now, this is done through many things, but essentially making your employees trained um, may be more aware of the product or service that you are funding, that you're working on as an entrepreneur, then that will make the business grow more and more and more. and become more sustainable. Duality of mission. Remember, social entrepreneurs. Duality of mission. Why is that a struggle? Because maybe you have a, a mission with your social entrepreneurship, uh, but what happened is that you need to always show up like the principal mission the one who uh, provided with the funds, right? So there is a duality of mission because always you need to deal with what uh, uh, will be, or you will be showing as uh, an important. You need to uh, mix your your mission with your in social entrepreneurship with the mission of who is the boss, who's giving the money once. That yeah. is what we understood. Yes, this is true. Mm -hmm. I mean, on one end, you have your main mission, which is helping others. That's the main reason of the existence of your entrepreneurship. But on the other hand, you have to show results to the investors mm -hmm. or donators, as I was explaining. Good job. Simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lack of... Pro now, wait. Why is that a problem? Because... If you play only on one side, you may run out of money if you only try to help people. And if you only play for the boss, you know, and you try to give them their profit somehow, some way, you will end up losing the project. And that's why it's a they have it's a problem they have to overcome or something they struggle with. And lastly, lack of proper business strategy, lack of proper business strategy for social entrepreneurs. Well, when you don't have the clear path to follow, so you don't have, um, like, you lack maybe, um, uh, or the the, the the entrepreneurship, uh, lacks the focus, focus. Yeah. Loses the focus, yes. Yeah, of the of the project maybe, and you don't achieve your goals. Totally. So Simple as that. So your time at the end. Oh. That's something you struggle with because, again, you're helping people and you forget that your mission is to help them. This happens when you hire personnel that is not committed with the project. As a clear example, let's say that you want to teach English for free over there where the buses doesn't reach, right? And you start hiring teachers and they just go there for the money. They lose the passion for the program. They forget that this is in the with the purpose of developing the community. And so they just do it for the money. They lose focus. Simple example. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance tonight. I'm going to stay with Wendy. She said, I'm going to stay the next class. So, Wendy, if you may stay 10 minutes, let me know. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Yes, teacher. 
Good night. Good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Thank you. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Present. Good night. Good night. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher, good night. Good night. José Osmin Rivas Navas. Where was Present José? teacher. Yep, yeah, there you are. Good night. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Good night. Juan Miguel Bram Mejía. Present here, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Are we staying 10 minutes? Yes, teacher. Great. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good Thank night. you. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, teacher. Yeah, Good, night, teacher. Everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. I think Jose Wilfredo fell asleep. Maybe. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's working. He's actually working. Maybe. Okay, Wendy, Maria, how are you tonight? Oh my Well, teacher, is I very tired. So sorry, teacher, because uh, in this model, mm -hmm. I don't uh practice or I don't uh, participate with with this uh the correct form I don't know it's correct to say Color, this. the right way the right way the right way are you sleeping the baby yes teacher um, um today was a uh, um day very difficult because I I, I am no. I have mm -hmm. a migraine, and today I migraine. was a crisis. 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 I had a I had a crisis. Yes. And the 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 last well the last month was dif difficult because next to the Operation teacher, say, say, the surgery. Say, yes, Next. I don't feel so good, oh. and I feel tired. I feel. What 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 kind of surgery did you have? I don't know. Um, I. No sé cómo se dice, teacher. <laughs> Me quitaron la vesícula. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but did you rest after? The surgery yes two two weeks two weeks but mm -hmm. did you rest and no more no no teacher that, right that's now my problem. work is very stressful in my work mm. and i need to to come back uh, the quick weekly mm -hmm. um don't don't... But didn't you have a store? What? Didn't you have a a home shop? You know, a little store. At home? Yes. Yes, in my home. But I I work too in my in my work. <laughs> I don't know. So you got a job? Yes, I have a job and oh. I have a, a business too. I mm -hmm. do business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your yeah. husband and your husband works too. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes I, I remember. I remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Oh and my God. But how's right the baby? Now, what? How's the baby? Uh, six years old. I know. I know. How is he or she? I can't remember. Is is he? Okay. How is he? Seba. Is he okay? Sebastian. Sebas. <laughs> I like mm -hmm. that name. 
Okay. Is he going to school? Yes, in, in, in the in primer grado, teach. First grade? First grade, yes. What school? In, in Dominico. Dominico school? Mm. I used to go to El Carpinello. Wow. <laughs> Do you know about that? Yeah, but I don't... I Maria don't know. Consoladora del Carpinello. <laughs> That's um, near to near to the stadium. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. It's true. I, I remember that the, 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 the ch church... church really i mean when i was studying there they were building the church i helped i helped build in the church because my grandma asked sor teresa to um allow me to work on the construction so i could learn an officio <laughs> <laughs> so they they made me weld you know weld with uh, yeah welding but they didn't give me a, a mask so my eyes were like inflamed you know the first day it was really? so funny but this was like 1994 somewhere around there 19 no wait 1992 something like that i was very little oh, all was you I was like 10 or 12, I remember. I can remember. Yeah, but yeah. I, I had to work. And, and it was so funny. I learned a little bit how to weld with my eyes. I, I still remember, you know, we're really swollen. Como avispa. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's beautiful, right? Is it beautiful still? The church? Yes. Yes, I, I, when? I don't know what time ago I, I remember that when I, I, was, tenía teacher? When was, I was, mm -hmm. when I was, uh, uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, 15. I remember that I go to the in the bus mm -hmm. and I lost. I remember that I lost in the in the places in the place and uh, I don't know how do you, what do you say? Así fue como con la conocí porque me perdí por ahí. <laughs> <laughs> so I got lost and that's how I met it. I got yeah. lost and that's how I met I it. Got uh -huh. I got lost. And I remember that I, I, uh, I, uh, I can say, uh, I remember that, uh, yes, I lost in the places. You got lost, <laughs> okay. My, 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 my chief uh, is, uh, I don't know, is con, con, congregarse con great. Con, he, he congregates. Con, con, he assists in this in this in that church. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'll go. I'll go very soon to Santa Ana. I have a cousin who plays in the uh, uh, um, how do you call this thing? The national band. You know the uh, Philharmonica. In, in no, in the Philharmonica. Ah. Oh. I mean, he went to INSA. I went to INSA too, but my bachelor was in San Salvador. But he he plays in the Philharmonica de El Salvador, in, in from Santa Ana. He's from Santa Ana. He he plays the trumpet, I think. He's a nice guy. So I I swore to him that I was going to visit him very soon. So I'll go. I'll go very soon, and I'm gonna go to the church, you know, at the Carpinello to remember my childhood. Oh, that's going to be really tough. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for staying. Go get a pill. Tomase una pastilla fuerte. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good night. Have some...
Have some rest, Thank Wendy. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye.